Before we begin the content of this first lecture, I wanted to provide a bit of background on the different types of slides that you will see throughout this course. The first set of slides that you will see, and it's the one that we use mostly for this first lecture, you'll see have this kind of format to them. And these are ones that have been developed as the course has been offered um, in previous semesters, and this is the third time that it has been offered. And in most cases, they are slides that were developed by Dr. Jacqueline Clavel Hall. Um, so when you see slides like this, and you'll see across the bottom there, her name is indicated on them. Those are the ones that were originally created for previous semesters of this course by Dr. Clavo. Uh, you will see oftentimes I will add things to those, and you'll be able to note those because you won't see Dr. Clavo's name and information at the bottom of those slides. Another type of slide that you will often see, approximately two weeks before the course began, the publisher, Springer, released a third edition of the Translation of Evidence into Nursing and Healthcare. Now, we are still using the second edition because that's the one that um, we had included in the original book list. We didn't know the third edition would be coming out when we put out the book list for this year. However, one of the nice things that they have with the third edition is they have PowerPoints to accompany each of the individual chapters in the third edition. And since much of the book is still the same, you'll see that from time to time we will use slides that look like this and those are coming from the Springer Publishing Company and you can see across the bottom um, where you will note those and like the initial ones in instances where I have added in things of my own you'll note that I will remove the Springer information from the bottom. The third and final version of the slides that you will see throughout the course will look something like this. And these are ones that I have created independent of any of the other materials from the course. And in many cases, they will be focused upon things that I'm bringing into the course because of my background in education. Um, specifically educational research. So, And you'll note these because of the Toro logo across the top as well as the Toro colors that get used throughout. 